So I just got tagged and mentioned in this fragrance tag video by my boy, Melly Mel Shaves, yo. Listen, this dude got a unmatched energy. When it comes to these fragrance reviews, when it comes to the fragrance related content, love this dude. Energy, just a beautiful energy. It's contagious. Love you, brother. Love the content. I appreciate you tagging me in this video. This particular tag is a one office fragrance for life. I've never worked in an office, ever. Don't have any plans to. It was never my cup of tea. I was never, uh, this is the most that I sit at a desk and computer when I'm creating content. This is the most. So I guess I'm kind of an office guy. Um, but let's get to it. So we're looking at one office fragrance for life. Now my label is a little faded, but you can probably see it here. This is Egyptian Musk. This is the classic Egyptian Musk. One ounce bottle, label's a little faded. This particular fragrance, I've always loved. And I don't hear it spoke being spoke about that much in the fragrance community, but if I bring it up, there are a lot of people that recognize the name of this scent. Uh, this one, I've always come in contact with it in oil form. There is some people out here that have this in spray uh, and you know, and, and you can atomize it and all that, but I've always gotten this in oil form. Now, I wanna show you how serious this oil is. So this is a bottle of Sauvage EDP that I made the other day. Well, I didn't make it, but I made the label for it. <laughs> and you can see how that oil moves in there. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty loose. It's still very thick and you know, it's still pretty weighty but it's a lot of movement going on. Look at this. There is no, look at how thick that is. This, this oil don't play no games and you don't need a lot. This is a one ounce bottle. I'm probably gonna pick me up another one. This is from African Imports as well. And you can just see the difference. You know what I mean? Just instantly. Tilt that bag and everything's back in place. This here, it take a little bit. This takes a little bit. It's, this is an oil, this oil is no joke. The viscosity on this oil is, is up there. Open this bad boy up. This is like a really creamy, balsamic but like a creamy balsamic it's not super tangy and uh sharp in any way this has like this creamy smooth balsamic oh my god it is so good there's almost a chocolatey aspect to the way that this smells it comes off like oh it's just so saturated so thick and sappy. Doesn't smell like anything that I've ever smelled. This always had its own place with the way that it smelled. It was so beautifully done. Whenever I wore this, I always got a reaction, always got a compliment. I wouldn't try to put this as like a compliment machine or anything like that. Cause to me, that's tacky for this scent. This scent is just beautiful, classic and timeless. And I'm not even going to try to place it in a category like that, but it's going to get you compliments because it's a fragrance that has the ability to be soft and light, but still have a big presence. You can put, you can put so much of this fragrance on and it's not going to be obnoxious. It's just going to be that same smooth and creamy, light, slightly balsamic, musky, beautiful fragrance and it's just gonna travel further, but it's not gonna be stronger. I think putting more on just gives it the ability to travel further for that scent trail to stick around longer. But so far as it being obnoxious, it does not do that at all. This is a beautiful scent, absolutely beautiful. It's a fragrance that I know I can wear to the office if I worked in one. I know I smell good. It's extremely inoffensive beautiful and it's unique it's not something that everybody in the office will ever smell like everybody doesn't really care about this fragrance if they do know about it 
or so a lot of people just simply don't know about it i encourage you to check this out go to african imports look for egyptian musk classic and pick you up a bottle if you've never smelled egyptian musk you will love this this is this is wonderful this is a wonderful scent uh and if i had to pick one fragrance for life it's going to be this one for years and years i wore this going to work at the warehouses going to work at different um at different factories and things like that i've always worn this always this was my go-to scent i had like this um like this fake uh no it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't fake it was like this wooden bowl that i used to keep in my bathroom and i had a big container of egyptian musk and i would just simply pour it in that wooden bowl keep like a light lid over it and whenever i hopped out the shower i would get my shea butter rub it in and just get like a little dab, dab my hand in there into that oil rub that in mix that up and that was my scent and i smelled gorgeous i smelled beautiful and i knew i smelled good and then i can catch wafts of it and everybody else did and left a beautiful scent trail extremely inoffensive and extremely inexpensive that bottle i paid for is probably about this big about that wide about 30 bucks and that thing lasted me for years i went through it because i was trying to go through it but if you're just wearing a fragrance regularly that thing is going to last you for a very long time egyptian must man just check it out let's look at let's take a look at that that oil content you see what i mean how it's just it's just smooth this i move it wherever i'm moving it that's where it's going immediately but this takes about a few seconds and it's just this stuff is no joke egyptian musk is my one office fragrance for life melly mel i appreciate you brother thank you for your energy thank you for tagging me in this video again truly appreciate you if you're seeing this video and you're watching it just go ahead and do a tag video just mention me and let me know that you saw it or something like that drop a comment saying hey recording right now or i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm you know or just drop a comment and say i'm in you know i i, I invite and encourage everybody to check this fragrance tag out i think this is a pretty good one and it's interesting to see everybody's go-to's that they'll stick with for the rest of their life i'm definitely interested in seeing that my boy melly he picked a uh, masoni i think it's all masoni wave and he said he was getting a cross between versace for home and chanel alone home sport and i thought that was a super interesting combination uh for a fragrance that's like around 30 bucks picked it up i think he said at tj maxx so yeah definitely check out his video as he go into further detail on that and i will catch you guys soon like comment share subscribe